GMOs are genetically modified organisms. When talking about GMOs, it's helpful to first understand that almost everything we eat has been genetically modified. Over tens of thousands of years, humans have been selecting the best seeds from the plants they eat to grow crops. And without knowing it, through this selection of the best seeds, humans have been changing the DNA and modifying the genes of the plants. Genetic engineering, which we also call biotechnology, allows plant scientists to take a desirable attribute or trait found in nature and transfer it from one plant or organism to the plant they want to change. Some examples of desirable traits commonly transferred include resistance to insects and disease, drought tolerance, and tolerance to herbicides that allow farmers to better control weeds. And genetic engineering is not just used in agriculture. Genetic modification is often part of the process for creating other foods, medicines, and household products like cheese, beer, insulin, and laundry detergent. All living things have DNA. DNA is like a blueprint. Whether it's a person, insect, or plant, DNA carries the instructions for traits. Just as you can change or add something to a house that you're building by changing the blueprint, you can change or add traits to plants by changing or adding to its DNA. Segments of DNA form a gene, and plants have tens of thousands of genes. Typically, when we make a GMO, we're adding one or more genes to the plant. In most cases, we identify a specific gene in nature with specific instructions for a specific desirable trait. GMOs don't happen overnight. Developing them takes incredible collaboration and research. On average, bringing a GMO to market takes around 13 years and can cost up to $130 million. During this time, GM plants are tested and tested and then tested again. Did I mention that we test them? We check for performance. For example, if we added a gene that protects the plant against insects, is the plant really protected? We also check for unintended effects, like decreased seed production or allergens and many other things. If you're wondering why farmers choose to grow genetically modified crops, it helps to consider the challenges they're up against every day. Limited arable land, crop loss from weeds, insects, disease, and the effects of climate change, such as drought, just to name a few. GM crops can help them face these challenges by utilizing important resources like water more efficiently, fighting pests more effectively, and by providing greater resilience and more productivity, which helps conserve land and natural habitat. With food demand expected to grow significantly by 2050, GM seeds can help farmers sustainably grow enough.